I forgot to prime my eye. Meh. Welcome back. Happy Merry Christmas Jumper Day. Mm -hmm. If you're new to my channel, welcome. What a week it's been. I feel like I say that every start of every video I've done, but honestly, what a roller coaster of a week. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know um, on Monday I had my nails done by my good friend Lucy. Um, she did them blue and silver. Unfortunately, I'm such a klutz and I'm clumsy and I was doing Christmas shopping yesterday. The majority of them popped off. I mean, it wasn't a good pop-off, sis. It was... Uh, they, they, they look I didn't take very good care of them I hold my hands up I was clumsy I didn't take good care of them I got carried away my nails grew too long underneath them anywho if you do follow me on Instagram you will see that um, I also bought this beautiful ring from Pandora on their Black Friday sale you know Happy Christmas to me, from me. Anyway, so um, on Monday, my nails were inspired by this ring. But obviously, these are the nails now. They're beautiful. So today's video, I wanted to do a homage to both sets of nails I've had this week and um as well with these nails so this is what they are actually color changing so this is what it looks like when they're cold and then when they're hot they're baby blue look how quick that's changed back because I'm cold let me just dip them in for longer to warm them up see how cute is that so yeah, today's video, I'm going to be doing a purple, blue, silver eye makeup look because it marries in almost like an alternative look that you can do at Christmas time. So as always, off camera, I'm going to prime my eyes, do one eye and then come back and show you how I did that look on the other eye. So BRB, guys. BRB. So this is the look I've created. I've brought you in a little bit closer so you can see the mixture of blues and purples to create this like almost like Jack Frost kind of vibe, smoky eye. It's very simple compared to what I normally do. I normally blow it out more. But yeah, it's very simple. Let me show you how I did it on this side. Now to begin this look, obviously going into the Nikki Tutorial palette, picking up the amazing colour Amsterdam, the royal blue, beautiful colour. So I'm just gently tapping on the eyeshadow and then gently tapping into the corner of my eyelid and then gentle circular motions to blend out that colour. Going all the way down to the eyelash line and then underneath on the lower lash line just all blending together now I'm taking my second favorite color which is Amsterdam and I'm just going in the inner corner of my eyelid right into that crease to blend in down to the lash line now I'm not gonna put this on my lower lash just the top of my lid blending into Amsterdam to make it seamless now I'm going into my Roxy Revolution palette gonna pick up that bright blue now I'm using this to disperse and blend 
into Amsterdam just to make it more seamless and not so blocky and I want to use it just to make it more icy as you can see I'm buffing and using circular motions and making sure I'm blending even the bottom just to make it more seamless. So just like with that blue I'm using the colour lavender to disperse slasher and just to give it more of an icier feel I just want to make sure that this is seamlessly blended well and I just feel using the lavender just gives it more of an icy feel and a real Jack Frost vibe. Now for the last bit of blending just going back in with some more Amsterdam just to give it more of a pop. Now this is the best trick to make sure you get rid of fallout and just to make sure that it's perfection, wet wipe. Now for my favourite colour, Sky. It's in the Roxy palette and I'm just going to put it on my lid to give it that silver element. Once again, very Jack Frost vibe. You need a couple of layers and then just under the lower lash line and in the center of my eye. There you go. So this is it. This is the eye look completed. I do feel like I've kind of done a similar look like this before, but I'm feeling it. I'm digging it. It's very Jack Frost come to play, mama. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly do um, my base off camera. If you would like to see how I do my base, um, I have done it many a times in previous videos. Um, so I will link down my last video and show you how I do my base. But yes, I'm gonna go prime, I'm gonna go do my base, I'm gonna set it with some setting powder and we'll come back for bronzing. I don't know why I always decide to wear black when I'm doing my makeup, <laughs> it's a really smart idea. Anyway, so my face now has no dimension. I look like, I actually look like Jack Frost right now. So it's time for some Sweet Peach Glow by Too Faced. I've said many, many, many times, um, when I started YouTube, did not know how to bronze. So I got this gifted by my dear friend, Penny. Um, I just really rub it into a flat brush. Bronze just below the che my cheek line, back and forth like so. Do that on both sides, like so. Warming up just below the cheek line. A couple of um, YouTubers like to do just below, so I only just, just slightly, just to show that I've got chins. Multiple chins. <laughs> multiple chins, multiple sins. If you're ever scared of the amount, just go back in with your powder brush to just blend it out. Oh my God, look at that eyeshadow though. Look at that blending of the eyeshadow, sorry. I don't know what happened there, I got distracted. Anyway, back in with the bronzer brush. I like this brush because it's like flat, but with a tilt, if that makes sense. Because then it's perfect against my nose. My nose. <laughs> Just to give it some Japanese on Bobo. Whenever I run out of this, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Mm. See, just bringing more warmth and definition back into my pale skin. Anyway, I've buffed some up. Here we are, my hairline. To warm up the temples and my forehead. To make me look fantastic. There we go. And that is my bronzing. Because I'm wearing a darker, um, cooler eyeshadow, I'm gonna go with the peach blush in this palette. 
just because it's not as bright and it's not as pinky it's more of a peach obviously wow so as you saw i just warmed up my cheeks just gonna warm the end of my nose as well just to give it some definition and rosiness and then i'm gonna go into the temples as well to give it more definition there we go that is my base done just it so for once i thought i would go for this revolution hot pink lipstick to try and marry the purple into this look and give it some vibrancy i don't normally like a hot pink lip but i'm kind of feeling it um i've done my brows off camera i'm just gonna calm them down a bit with a bit of benefit give me brow in shade one this just helps me disperse the color that i've already put down there we go there's some strong brows now because this is quite an icy look i'm gonna go in with the benefit cookie highlighter and pick up this icy pink highlighter gonna oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh 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 well try not get it in your hair <laughs> i'm gonna put on temples to give me some shine put on the bow of my lips to give her some pride and then obviously on the center of my nose oh amazing so i've just finished it off with some mascara and there's just one more thing to do and that is to set it i can get my setting spray oh my god shake that up thank the lord that did things not smudge let it dry and this is it guys this is the final look so this look has been inspired by my nails can be an alternative christmas look and honestly i feel like jacqueline frost if jack was a woman and called jacqueline I had so much fun experimenting and getting inspiration from Christmas and from my nails and from my new ring. Oh, I'm just so happy with the colour changing and you know it's just a bit of fun this time of year because it's been a bit of a rubbish year. So as always if you are one to enjoy experimental and different makeup I would really recommend subscribing and always uh, <laughs> and as always if you have liked this video please give it a big thumbs up please let me know down in the comments below what you'd like me to do soon and next if you've got any ideas sound off below let me know i am here for you and of course as always i have really enjoyed just sitting down and playing with some makeup i'm really glad you could join me and i hope to see you guys next time Bye! Feliz Navidad!